It's been almost a year since we've had a Galaxy S series on our teardown table. The S4 ended up being one of the most popular Android phones on the market, and it scored a very respectable 8 out of 10 on the repairability scale. So as soon as we heard the news of the S5, we've been dying to get our hands on it to see if it lives up to its predecessor's hype. Today is the day we find out because we've got the S5 and we're tearing it down. Hi, I'm Gwendolyn with iFixit, and today we're tearing down the brand new Galaxy S5. In terms of size, the S5 is slightly larger than its predecessor, measuring in at 142 millimeters high, 72.5 millimeters wide, 8.1 millimeters thick, and weighs in at 145 grams. On the back of the phone is where you'll notice some of the most notable changes. Gone is the glossy back of the S4. Now the S5 comes with a dappled grid pattern, which is supposed to help with gripping the phone. And right below the familiar looking camera is the brand new heart rate sensor. On the other side of the phone you'll notice, or maybe you won't, the S5 screen size has increased slightly by 0.1 inches, making it a 5.1 inch 1080p Super AMOLED HD display. We're delighted to see that getting into the phone is as simple as ever. We just needed our thumbs. With the back panel off, the first thing we noticed is a pretty little battery-shaped hole. Yep, that's right. Samsung not only makes it super easy to replace your battery, but they make sure you know how to do it. The battery has been given a slight upgrade from last year's phone. The S5 battery is a 3.85 volt, 2800 milliamp hour lithium ion battery that should give you around 29 hours of talk time. This phone is full of surprises, but they aren't all good. As we go to get the front panel off, we see that it is adhered to the midframe. So we go to work on the front panel with our eye opener and a billion picks, but we aren't done yet. As soon as we lift up the front panel, we see that it is still attached to the midframe by a display assembly cable. Just when we thought we were finally inside, we're met by not one, but two midframes. As soon as we remove one from the other, we get our first look at the motherboard. This board is equipped with a 2.5 gigahertz quad-core Snapdragon 801 with two gigabytes of LPDDR3 RAM. Right next door, you'll find the Samsung-made flash memory of which our phone had 16 gigabytes. Now we can take a look at the upgrades Samsung has made to the cameras in the S5. The 16 megapixel rear facing camera is a nice bump from the 13 megapixel camera in the S4. And we know you need a great selfie camera and the S5's got it. The front facing camera is two megapixels and shoots with a resolution of 1920 by 1080. We've come to the end of our teardown, which means it's time to talk repairability. At iFixit, it's our mission to teach people how to repair everything, so we give every gadget we tear down a repairability score between 1 and 10. 10 being the easiest to repair and 1 being the most difficult. The Galaxy S5 got a 5 out of 10, and here's why. The battery is incredibly easy to remove and replace. Once you get the device open, several components are modular and fairly easy to replace such as both cameras, headphone jack, vibrator motor, and speakers. And the display is now one of the first components out, making replacement a little faster. But on the downside, replacing anything other than the battery requires first removing the display. For the complete teardown, including tons of beautiful high quality images, head on over to ifixit.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all the latest teardowns and repair videos. You can follow us on Twitter at ifixit and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com slash ifixit.